friends. Welcome to a room in my home. My name is Jennifer and I work at the Kirkland Town Library. At the library, part of my job is helping to take care of the 10 American Girl dolls that we have for people to come and check out. Everything is a little bit uh, bananas lately. We're all home more. We're all washing our hands more and we're all learning in new and different ways. So I thought it would be fun to offer a quick video about how to clean your dolls. So I have with me today, Caroline. She's going to help. I'll tell you a few things that you can use to clean your American Girl doll, your 18 inch doll, or if you don't have a doll, you could use these items to clean a Pegasus, you could use them to clean a pony who needs her hair done. You could even use them to clean a phoenix. Don't worry about finding all of the things right now. I'll tell you when to pause the video and you can go fetch whatever you need. The things that I like to clean with are baby wipes. And if you don't have baby wipes, no problem. I bet somewhere you have a washcloth. So you'll use a washcloth that's a little bit wet not dripping, give it a good squeeze. Now is the point where you can pause the video. Okay, now we're back. So the first thing I like to do when I'm gonna clean one of the dolls at the library is I give her a good look over and I've got to take off her dress to do that. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. And I'm very careful to observe the number one rule of dolly care, to never get their eyes wet because water will make their eyes not work as well anymore so that when they go to sleep and wake up, that won't work. So you wanna be very careful not to get their eyes wet. These soft bodies also shouldn't really get wet. So we're only gonna clean the dolly's hard plastic parts. But I'm gonna start at her face and when I get these dollies at the library, I often have to pay extra attention to their mouth because I have a sneaking suspicion that these dollies like to sample a lot of treats when they're out on their adventures with you. So I'm going to carefully clean Dolly's face. Then I'm gonna clean her ears because sometimes they get a lot of dirt and stuff in them. Do you clean your ears at bath time? All right, Dolly's face looks good. I think it's all right. And I'm gonna work my way down her arms. Now at the library, I also check carefully her little hands because I think that the Dolly's hands tend to get dirty on their adventures. It's okay, we can clean them right off. All right, Caroline's hands look good. I'm gonna take care of her feet and the bottoms of her feet. All right, Caroline looks fantastic. I'm just gonna dry her off and then I'll put her dress back on her. While I'm doing that, I'll tell you that all of our dollies that go home with our young patrons have books that tell you about them. They also have journals in which you are invited to write all of your adventures so that we know what fun our dollies have been up to. So I was going to show you Caroline's journal. And on the first page, someone wrote, I love Caroline. I will snuggle her. I love her, which is beautiful. We love to hear about the fun things you do with dollies. And do you know what? These dollies, they love a good snuggle. Even a phoenix will like a good snuggle. So now that her skin has been cleaned and her face is nice and tidy, I'm gonna take Caroline and find a good cozy spot and read her a story. One of my favorite stories is this hush little baby. So you take your dollies or your Pegasus, or your dinosaurs. Take them and go tell them a story. Maybe it's one you make up, and maybe it's a favorite book of yours that you read to them. Enjoy, and thank you for learning about cleaning your dolly with me, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.